<laughs> hey, I have Alex working on a celebrity report. Oh, good. Yeah, because there's lots of celebrity gossip going on. And so I said, Alex, there's just too much for us to cover, so he's going to work on a celebrity report. Now, let's see how that goes. He's <laughs> oh. an intern. I should have made that really, really new intern do it. Oh, I decided I don't like him. The Why? foreign exchange turn? You don't I was that? I was thinking about it last night because when you're Jack, you have time to do that. Think right. about the interns. And I decided that because he's come here from Canada, he's come to steal our precious radio secrets and take them back to Canada. And Jack, it makes what radio matter. secrets do we have? That thing about playing that same song at the same time. So oh. These are things they didn't teach him in Canadian school that now he's going to steal and take back to Canada and try and destroy us. I'm okay with that, Jack. Are I you don't, sure? I don't think it's, it's going to be that threatening if they take our secrets. Okay. Yeah. I, I I'll would... watch him for you. Okay. Okay. All right. He's a spy. He's our uh, he's our foreign exchange turn. Yep. Yep. And he's from Canada. He needs to grow his hair. He looks like one of those uh, like Nazi uh, some uh, white supremacist. What happens is when you get down here, he's not used to this heat. Is that what yeah. it is? Oh, he's Jewish. Monica just yelled in my head. Oh, well, that makes it even worse. He needs to grow his hair. Yeah. Oh, poor kid. Grow your hair. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Nazi. Crazy. Whatever. Jew. Canadian Jew. Canadian Jew? I have no, I've had Canadian bacon. Yeah. That's way opposite of a Canadian Jew. I had yes, a you're was right. a Canadian Jew. Did so they did eat I. Canadian bacon? <laughs> no, he wouldn't do that. Yeah. Do you eat Canadian bacon? He does eat Canadian bacon. Wow. He just shook his head yes. Hmm. And he's not a very good he's Jew. He's not a hardcore Canadian. Yeah. No, <laughs> you're not a good Jew. <laughs> yeah, bastard. All right, anyway. We know. Yeah, we know good Jews, and you ain't one of them. <laughs> Actually, I don't know any good yeah. Jews. <laughs> All right, so I don't personally, I can say personally I don't know any. Do you know any personally? I don't know any good Christians either. Well, my sister is a good Christian. Sometimes. I don't know. All right, let's move on, shall we? Let's okay. talk about Brad and Angelina Jolie syrup. Yeah, very important. That is issue. some, uh, yeah. Did we find out yet? We no. have not found out yet. No one's called in to tell us that they've served them and they know for a fact that Brad does like the. Uh, old-fashioned maple syrup. All right, and uh, we're talking about life-changing moments. Just all of a sudden, one day you wake up and, and your whole life is different. Everything's different. Everything. And everybody has that experience in life. Yeah. Nobody has that cookie-cutter life where everything goes the same. There's no life-changing experiences. You think it's going to be that way. Right. You think you live your life for it to all be the same, and then one day you wake up and it's all different. Yep. Georgina, hi, what happened to you? Hey, guys. Hi. Hi. You rule. We, we rule. rule. <laughs> um, well, I woke up one day and I realized that um, my husband was with a 16-year-old girl. Your husband was Whoa. with a 16-year-old girl? Uh-huh. How uh -huh. did you wake up and realize that? Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. It was crazy. It was really crazy because... Um, we were together for a little bit over a year, uh -huh. and all of a sudden we started fighting for no reason, and we never used to fight. And he said that he needed some time off from me or something like that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, you know, if, you know, if that's gonna fix things, sure. Right. Um, and then a couple of days after we talked and we said we're gonna take some time off, we went to this club that we used to go all the time together. And um, I saw him dancing really nasty with this girl. So, of course, I flipped. And I went to the dance floor. I grabbed her, and I um, I pulled her out. I, I almost killed her. You know, I was like, A 16-year-old? Really yeah. How'd she get in the club? Um, they get sick IDs. Oh. Uh-huh. And yeah. how did your husband hook up with a 16-year-old? Um, I, he, we went to a party together. And uh, there, uh -huh. apparently, and um, they just started talking and talking. I guess they exchanged phones, and uh, that's how they... And, and how old was he? Uh, he was, let me see, 24. 24? Mm -hmm. Eight years, mm -hmm. Same uh -huh. difference between me and the snowboarder. Right, except you didn't meet him when he was 16. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, but, but, and that kind of would have been creepy. Yeah. 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 Wow, 20. Yeah. I mean, he's an adult man, and she just got her driver's no, license. No, he is not. Let me tell you, he is not. Supposed no, to be, yes. Yeah. Wow. And, and so are they still together? Um. Yeah, but it, I don't even know why, because he's been cheating on her, you know, ever since. They've been together, that which is happen. lame, you know. And, and you got a divorce and everything? Well, he won't sign my papers. He won't sign my divorce papers. I don't know why. Hmm. But, you know, that's okay. 
Can't you okay. have that figured out? What if they don't yeah, sign that, your paper? Can't you figure thing, it out like a thing? People are such a pain in the ass with divorce. Really? Yeah. yeah. They, they just won't sign it, and he's uh, the, the wrongdoer. He won't just put her yeah. out of her misery. And you know what? The funny thing is that we don't have anything like together under our name. So it. Do you have kids? No. Nothing. Like so, there's no reason to. No reason not to sign the paper. He's papers. just being a jerk. Uh huh. Yep. Wow, a 16-year-old. You're married, everything's yeah. well, and then all of a sudden he sees some girl with a driver's permit and wants a piece of She's that. She's a freaking yeah. sophomore. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy hot. That's creepy. It's creepy. It's yeah. totally creepy. But here's a woman who found some salad and it changed her life. Here <laughs> is Alex. Hi, Alex. Hi, how are you? Hi. We are Hi. lovely. How are you? I'm just Daisy King. Well, that is terrific. Yeah. So what can we do for you? So I'm just, you know, thinking I'd bring a little levity to your day because I'm driving to work and, and there's salad on the side of the road in a really, really, really big bowl. And it's just kind of random and weird. There's a really a big, big bowl, bowl of salad, salad on the side of the freeway. Where, Alex? On the 405. Like, you're going, you and you're on the 101 and you're going to 405 South, that little bridge, before you go into the little loop de loop to get oh, on the 405 South. I know south. about that little bridge. Yeah. yeah. I know. <laughs> And there's and salad there. Huge, huge bowl of salad, like like the. Maybe Builder party. Bob had a potluck and no one came. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. No, she said go. She's going on the yeah, one no went to get yeah. on yeah, the 405. Yeah, the loopy loop one. He had nothing to do with that ramp. And yeah, there's that's... and what kind of bowl is it, Alex? It looked. It was a big, big black plastic one, and it looked. I mean, it was like bigger than like the size that you get like when you get the big salad at like Olive Garden. Yeah. Was it like a movie prop salad? It looked real because you could see it kind of fluttering in the wind. It might have fell off of like a catering truck or something. Yeah. A big bowl of salad fell off a catering truck? Somebody's on their way to a picnic this morning and rolled off the back of the truck. A big bowl of salad fell off a catering truck. Yep, that's my my story. I I like it. it. But it didn't have a cover on it. Well, it it fell off. The cover fell off and it bounced. And it stayed in the bowl. And it stayed in the bowl. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Let me get this straight, Alex. (laughs) Okay. You're driving on the 101 to get off on the 405 South. Correct. You look over to your right, and there's a big black plastic bowl full of salad. Yes. And it doesn't have a cover on it. And it doesn't have a cover on it. And you can see the croutons. And it has croutons. Croutons. Are they normal-sized croutons or extra-large-sized croutons? Are they cartoon-sized croutons? Oh, they look like, I, I didn't I get out of the car and inspect them, but they looked like regular croutons. We need, uh, we need, we need a really Chris, big fork. We need fork. Chris Hughes. <laughs> we need a really big fork. We need Chris Hughes to find out if indeed there's a bowl of salad there. Alex? Yes? I need you to hold on. I'm concerned about your safety. <laughs> Have you ever been to therapy or are you on any kind of medication? No. Have you seen things in the past? <laughs> Well, there's that one time, but no, no, not really. Have you ever done what do they call shrooms? Shrooms. Do you shrooms? believe you were abducted by UFOs? Are you driving right now? Yes. Look out for the tiramisu! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a whole theory. I, I've been thinking about this. You have a salad theory? Okay, first of all, Alex called us, and she said on the way from the 101 to the 405, if anybody's approaching that intersection, please call us 1-800-STAR-987. That's 1-800-STAR-987. And she said there's a big black bowl of salad like a like a bigger than Olive Garden sized bowl. That's a big bowl. And it doesn't have a lid on it. It's just sitting on, sitting on the side of the road. And it has croutons. It has croutons. <laughs> so Stench has a theory about it. My theory is that she's taking drugs. My theory is that somebody today was on their way to work. They had their office. You know, they were gonna have a lunch, and they decided they were the one bringing the salad. Big bowl of salad. Big bowl. Then they're driving into work this morning. They get a flat tire. Uh-huh. They reach in the trunk and bring out the big bowl of salad. Set it on the side of the road. Get out the spare tire. Put it on. Forget the bowl of salad and drive to work. They forgot their salad while changing a tire. That's why it's not dumped all over the place like it fell off a truck. Jack, do you have a salad theory? (laughs) That's a good one. No, but you know what I was thinking? I'm really proud because who would have ever thought that we would be the station that you think of when you see a bowl of salad on the side of the road? You know, the first thing that came to her mind is... I'm going to call them. Yeah, I'll call them up and tell them about that salad. Well, because the thing that we're talking about today is life-changing moments and somehow... Let me me just ask her how that changed her life. Hey Alex? Yeah. Because we were talking about that changing your your life. How did how did seeing that salad change your life? Well, that's that's the whole thing is I don't really have those kind of life-changing moments cuz my whole life is kind of weird like that. 
Like a bowl of salad on the freeway? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I see it. I mean, like. It's like rain uh, on your wedding day. It's like a bowl of salad on the freeway. <laughs> right. Yeah, thank you. Hey, uh, Holly. Hi. Uh, you on your the way to that on-ramp of salad? Yes, I am. Okay, where are we right now? We are approaching Haskell. Haskell, okay. And it's, I think it's going to be right past that, isn't it? I think so, yeah. Which direction was she yeah, going on the 101? It depends if she was coming... Were you going? Uh, oh, I don't know. If she was approaching the loop, she was coming from the from like the Burbank way. She was coming way. from the 134. Yeah, so right. she's coming the opposite right. way. Uh, let me uh, see. Oh, she was. Yes. Well, I don't. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. Hey, hey, Austin. What's up? Hey, Holly's with you too. Uh, which way are you going on, on the 101? I'm going. I'm on. I'm in that trafficy area, right on, when I'm getting onto the 405. Yeah. The yeah. From which way? Are you area. coming from like Studio City <laughs> or from Encino? No, from like uh, the, the 134. Oh, okay. perfect. That's, That's the right way. way. Uh, Holly? Yes? You're not going the right way. Well, let me turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Holly, for your All phone right. call, and thanks for not saying that traffic area. That yeah. traffic yeah, area. Yeah. Hey, Austin. What's up? Okay, so so where are you? And turn I down am... your radio. You're going to get all confused and yeah. sound like a dork. And crash. All righty. All right. Thank you. Okay, so where are you? The traffic I'm, area, I know. Right, right. There's what exit do you see? That area where you're getting onto the 405, that little loopy area that, yep. that uh, the other caller was talking about. Yeah. And I'm just waiting for it. Are you do you see the, the Sepulveda sa- exit? What's that? Do you see the Sepulveda exit? No, 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 no. You're not that far yet because it's... No. No, so no, he's no, still no. Oh, oh, you're, you're gonna, Okay, so we're going to have to put you on hold because you're going to be a while. Yeah. All righty. Uh, okay, I'm actually, sorry. do you want to just talk to our intern for a while? All right, sure. Yeah, yeah and yeah. then that way he can alert us when, nope. when you get close. Uh, okay, All so right. I'm going to put you on a pick up line 11. Just chit chat. And let us know the moment he gets the in moment. the loopy loop. <laughs> then yeah. he sees the salad. The moment. Okay. <laughs> he hung up. Oh. Who did? Uh, Austin. No, he didn't. He's right there. Oh, they just yelled in my head. He Austin? Yep. Hold on. Oh. Hey, uh, idiots. <laughs> in and hang up. No, that's not very nice. Oh, but accurate. So which is it? <laughs> not very nice. He's on line of, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Life-changing nice. situations. Life-changing situations. We have an example of life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, life-changing situation, and that is that of uh, Jeff Conway. Now, Who first, is he? Okay, do you remember we had Chastity Bono on and Ant last week from Celebrity Fit Club? I do indeed. And they kept talking about this year's like psycho is Jeff Conway. I didn't know who it was either until I saw this clip. And he is uh, the guy, he played the pretty boy on Taxi. Okay. The Remember that guy. guy that wanted to be with, an actor? With Danny DeVito a long time ago. Long yeah. time ago. And now he's on Celebrity Fit Club. Okay. Something happened along this life's uh, path that made this guy act like this, correct? Yeah. The, and, and you know, in Celebrity Fit Club, they sit in, they weigh in, and there's like a counter in the front with the trainers and the one military guy, that the big bald black guy they call the colonel. He got into it with him. In this. And remember, uh, Chastity Bono kept telling us that he was on drugs. Yeah. yeah. And that something was wrong with him. And we didn't know who she was talking about. But it's the guy that, uh, the little, like, kind of cute guy. He had, like, kind of curly, blondish I hair. I barely yeah. remember. Always wore a brown leather I never jacket. saw Taxi. I was a little girl. Yeah. yeah. It was like, uh, yeah. It, and he wanted to be an actor on Taxi. He was struggling to be an actor. Okay. So this is this guy. Something has happened, friends. I don't know if he saw a bowl of salad or what. <laughs> But here he is, a life-changing moment on Celebrity Fit Club. Why are you so angry, Jeff? What do you want me to do? How about this just do what I you're do. told? I've done this for 45 years, longer than you've been a colonel. Okay, well then you should be mature enough to get in here and sit your fat ass in a chair and let's get this show on the road. When I was your age, I'd have you down like that, brother. Hey, bring I, it on. Well, I went through more than you've done in your entire life. You ran into the military because you couldn't do anything else. I supported a family from the time I was 10 years old. Uh-huh. At three years old, I slipped my wrist. So mm-hmm. keep your mouth shut. I did a show called Taxi, one of the biggest shows ever. I did a show wow. called Grease, one of the biggest movies ever. They were funny. How about lose the way, sit down, five. be quiet as we get the show going. Last year. That's what we need to I do. Got two movies coming up. That's what I'm doing. Wow. What was he in Greece? He was one of like John Travolta's uh, greasy buddies in Greece. He was Kanicki, according to Monica. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, you could hear it. Yeah, Kanicki. 
Yeah, Kenicky. The blonde guy with greased back hair that that, that boned Rizzo. Yeah, maybe he Monica up Rizzo. could sing a song that he yeah. did in Greece. Okay, Greece. Monica, can you come in here and sing a song that uh, Kenicky did in Greece? Did he bone Roz? Roz? Rizzo. Yeah, Rizzo he was Rizzo's boyfriend. A hickey from Kenicky is like a. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> and the and, and did he movie. have acne pits? Yes. Oh, all right. I know who that That's guy him. is now. Grease right. lightning. Oh, grease lightning. Go, grease lightning. No, 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 no. Now in Spanish. Grease lightning. Oh, grasa. Something. <laughs> you don't know lightning? <laughs> Come on. Grasa <laughs> something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, la, 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 la. How about Grease Flashlight? Do you know this? <laughs> you don't know don't Lightning? Know. You don't know Lightning? L Spanish? Lightning. Oh, L <laughs> Lightning. Grasa. No. What the hell? Yeah, lightning? Call your mother. Oh, yeah. Let's call her. This is embarrassing. Call your mother right now. This is embarrassing me. to the hot tub and the family. Yes. that You don't know the word Lightning in Spanish. You are not a Mexican. I'm sorry. And you were the queen of Jalisco. Yeah. Oh, if they only knew you didn't know if lightning. If you can't say the Spanish, oh, how's your mom so going to me? I'm sorry? She can't say lightning. How's she going to tell her mom what we're talking about? Tell her oh, yeah. a bad storm. Maybe she'll figure Comes it out. After yeah, I'll, I'll just, just describe yeah. it, Before I guess. the thunder. Like big, yeah. The big streak of light in the sky. Where's your mom? I don't know. Maybe she's at work. In the hot tub? <laughs> no. <laughs> she only hot tubs when I come over. Because we do it together. Oh. <laughs> Family hot tubbing without Monica. Oh. Has been forwarded to an automatic voice oh. message. Oh. Carmen Regina is not available. To page this person, press no. five now. No. Hola! Mom! If you are satisfied with oh. the message. Oh, that was a good one. That was Perfect. Good. That was great. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Monica! Yeah. Telling us who this guy was on Celebrity Fit Club. Something horrible has happened to that man. But I have great news on the phone. Patrick? Yes, ma'am. That's your salad? That's my salad. It's not your salad, Patrick. <laughs> it's my salad. I'm Pat- not even kidding you. What happened? I, what happened, Patrick? Okay, I don't. I, I'm sorry to say, I'm 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 a, I'm a CD guy. So even listen to radio, and I was pissed off because I got a flat tire in my work truck. We had a potluck dinner today or lunch thing going on today. Uh-huh. So when I got to work, realized I didn't have my salad, but I have my bean dip, uh-huh. and so I'm running to Ralph to go get. Something else. Uh-huh. The potluck. All right, Patrick, we want your work phone number so we can call them and find out if there really is a potluck yeah. today. Yeah. You want to call my work? Yes. Yeah, but hold on. But hold on. First of all, though, before we do that, uh, let me let me just do this. This is your salad, right? This is my salad. I can describe the exact bullet. Well, okay. Hey, okay, because I know the girl that saw your salad, so hold on. And it's sitting on the side of the 101 and the 405. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Alexis Atkins. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, she's not answering. Send me a message, and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. I'm to like leave CSI. a voice message, I press would one. I ten bucks to pick up that salad and bring it to <laughs> Alex, it, it, it's uh, Jamie Jack and Stench, and we have Patrick on the phone, and it's he says it's his salad. Yep. So we kind of we kind of needed like a description. All right, goodbye. All right, hey Patrick. Yes, ma'am. I'm going to put you on hold, and I want the name, like Jack said, a, a number of your work so we can see if you really had a, a potluck. And describe the bowl perfectly. Okay, I'll, uh, do you want the description no, now? No, 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 I just want you to hold on, okay? Just hold on, okay? Okay. All right, uh, hold on. You believe him? I don't believe it's his house. It's too weird to lie about. I don't think it's his salad either. Yeah. I think it's a movie prop that fell off a like a truck. But it would have spilled. This is a perfect salad with croutons. I think you put the salad in the back seat. You don't put it on the side of the freeway if you're changing the time. I agree with Jack. A and B, what kind of guy brings pasta salad and salad salad? A a guy that can cook. And bean dip. No, no, he doesn't bring he doesn't bring salad. If you don't don't cook, you bring the salad. No, you don't. Not in a black bowl that you made yourself. Yeah, I don't know. It's his black bowl. You bring your black bowl home afterwards. So and, what, you're saying that he dumped the contents of, uh, like, stuff from Ralph's into a black bowl? Yeah, from home. He just no. got a big bowl uh, and no. dumped everything he, in there. No, if he's a guy, he brings the containers that, that Ralph's packs it in. Yeah, the bag? Yeah. yeah. No, those those little uh, quarts, you know, they like I want a quart of... They come uh, in, uh, yeah, or... Oh, or I'm the, guessing that he bought the ready-made salad in the big plastic no. bags and dumped it into a bowl. Nope. 
No. Nope. I'm with Jamie on this. Nope. I don't believe him. He's a man. He doesn't do potlucks. And he kind of tied together all the stuff we had already said. Yep. yep. And then he said, I had listened to CDs just so it would throw us off that he didn't right. hear us talk about right. that, your because theory. who would know it was his salad to call and tell him we were talking about a salad exactly, on the free Exactly, Jack. We oh, have to stench. find out. We'll ask him when You're we come back. You're so stupid to believe him. his work right Guess now. Guess who's being called in today's meeting? Yeah. <laughs> stupid. Why you hand me a story about a one-eyed cat? Because it's just creepy looking. It's like a cyclops. It has one eye in the middle of its forehead. But not a normal size eye. A big one. Like a cyclops. A photo of a one-eyed kitten named uh, Cy in Portland <laughs> drew more than a little skepticism when it turned out on various websites. <laughs> ah, yeah. But medical authorities have a name for the bizarre condition. Holo prosynthesis <laughs> It causes facial deformities. So there you go. There's a one eye cat. It's real? I don't know. Jack just handed this to me. He said, It's breaking Dude, news. Look at this. There's a one eye cat. I, I know a guy in production that's got one eyebrow. Oh, God. Oh, that was mean and hurtful. Hey, you know what? what? I just saw Robert Lyles. Yes, yeah, so did I, but he was on the phone, so I couldn't talk to him to find yeah, out what was wrong. Yeah, he with pulled him. a fast one on everybody with his eye was sick crap. No, he, had, he OD'd. No. He OD'd on foot cream. He got collagen injections <laughs> while he was out. No, remember he OD'd on foot cream? I yeah. swear to God, he was sniffing his foot cream. <laughs> He drank a bottle of, of his uh, foot scrub. <laughs> his foot scrub. That's what he did. Yeah. Yeah. And he, uh... I heard he was out and he saw somebody in the same outfit and had a heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> That's possible. <laughs> really? That's what I heard. Wow. Hello? Whoa. You're not Robert Lyles. No, yeah, you're but psycho. I'd like to talk to you. Yeah. Oh, all right. What should we talk about? What happened to Robert Lyles yesterday? He OD'd. Well, no, I don't think he OD'd. Yeah, huh? He yeah. OD'd on his foot scrub. He drank it. No, not at all. I think that he took some medicine and had a reaction to it. Uh-uh. I think That's what I thought. Ryan got so demanding that Robert couldn't take it, ran <laughs> home and slammed the bottle of foot scrub and just OD'd. I heard that he had a bad botulism job, like bad Botox. No, oh. no, 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 no. Because I saw it happen. Hey, let me ask you something. Sure. You're a fair, honest girl. Your name is Amy Sugarman. Yes, did you hear about Angelina Jolie? Okay, go on. Oh, no Yeah, way. that she's pregnant? Yeah. Try this yeah. on the show sometime. Yeah, thanks yeah, for listening thanks, to the show. Amy. Oh, sorry, I've been on my computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. okay. Whatever. And we don't have an online stream I listen there. like, you guys, I listen yeah. out of the four hours or five hours, I listen for like three hours. We, we were don't talking even know how, uh, how long we're on yeah. for. Did you hear about the salad? No. Let's see. see. <sighs> Forget it. Not I don't want no, to talk tell me, to tell me, tell me, tell me, no. tell me. Nothing, tell me. nothing. And you take the 405 no, okay, freeway, don't you? That girl, Angelina Jolie girl. only likes Caesar salad. It's mm-hmm. a weird thing. And then that, and then there was a whole, nothing. Yeah. Forget it. And, and then she, it. she likes to toss his salad. And then it was like, there was a salad shooter joke. It was yeah. like so funny. It's croutons. <laughs> yeah. And bacon okay, bits, but, a go-go. Okay, so what was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm a fair and honest girl. Yeah, you're a fair and honest girl. Your name is Amy Sugarman. If you knew a man got eyelash extensions... What would you think about him? Okay. As a fair be- and honest woman, you don't know who I'm talking about. If you knew a man got eyelash extensions. Here's the thing. I prefer a manly man. Uh-huh. Like, if a man even borders onto too much primping, right? it makes me uncomfortable. But that's just me. Now, here's the other thing on, my, on that. What a man does that I don't know about, right? I'm more okay with. Uh huh. Uh huh. Like uh-huh. you know women. what I mean? Well, like Jack like, shaves his toe hair. Right. But that's at the request of my wife, not a right. personal. But I mean, thing. she doesn't know that you right. do it, so that's better. But for if her. you'd like, I'll do it in your cubicle. <laughs> she watch my or God. Right. But but you know, she doesn't watch. She right. doesn't know it. If she if you show up in flip flops, you just having a nice smooth toe. Oh, right. Yeah, and please don't do it anywhere near my cubicle because stray hairs make me gag. <laughs> right. So if you but knew a man, yeah. but if you knew a man chose to buy eyelash extensions. Just answer the question, Amy. Whoop. Come on! What I are your first thoughts? Said, what are your first thoughts? My first thoughts are, if this is a man that I'm dating, I'm G-A-Y, not G-A-Y, it. you ain't got no alibi. You're gay. You're gay. <laughs> hey, you're gay! <laughs> 
Hey kids, well, uh, we did what? Uh, the celebrities folding the laundry with celebrities? Yep, celebrity shop pudding. Celebrity shop pudding. Uh, we did the ironing with the celebrities. Deep frying with the celebrities. D- deep frying. It was one of my favorite shows on Fox. And now, uh, again, back on ABC, it's uh, Dancing with Celebrities. or Dancing, Dancing with the Stars, which is a damn good show. I hate Dancing to say Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. Uh, oh, gosh, it was, uh, so it was folding clothes with the stars. You made yeah, me script flipping. And fold with the stars. Flip and fold with the stars. Why'd you make me script that name? Damn Sorry, it, hell. Yeah. Dancing with the stars. Dancing with the stars is Thursdays at 8 on ABC. You probably already saw it. Uh, it's a big old deal. It was like two long ass hours. Yep. And, uh, and now it's going to get good because it's not going to be two long it's hours. It's already again. controversy, though. But it's not going to be two hours again, please. Yeah, the wrong one's gone this last week. That, 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 that uh, P guy. Master P should have been yeah. gone. But that Lisa Renna. Very flexible is what I got from Very her. flexible, Very long leggy flexible. supermodel type, yeah, and yeah. Uh, ripped and shredded. Gosh, ripped and good. shredded and flexible. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lisa Renna! Lisa! Hello! Hello, Hello. Lisa hey, Renna! Hey, guys, Jamie has a baby! Oh, I'm so fat, I didn't want to talk to you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because, by the way, my boyfriend commented on your body, too. He's like, gosh, how many children has she had? She doesn't look like she's ever had a kid ripped. in her life. Lisa did Playboy when she was pregnant, right? That's right. Oh, well, yeah. the, that won't be happening with the James. <laughs> <laughs> Unless they have a really good airbrush. I'll tell you that right <laughs> now. <laughs> so, Lisa, are you on steroids or something? Because you are ripped and shredded. Wow. No, I'm not. I just, you know, this dancing, I will say, it is ripping us apart. It, I mean, four hours a day I have to dance. I know, but, I mean, your arms are ripped. and You're not, like, doing, uh, I mean, your arms won't be ripped like that. Um, you know, my arms are always kind of muscular. They just always have been, I have to say. They just they just are. But this is doing it. I'm telling you. I'm going to do a video after this or something. You and and your leg, like, extends from the, the ground to, to the gods. Well, I had no idea that my leg could actually do that, to be honest with you. That was great. That's good, right? My husband's happy about that. <laughs> oh, my God. No kidding. I mean, he's, it's just so he's crazy. He's like, damn, I had no idea you could do that. Hey, uh, did you hear Nicolette, uh, your husband's ex, is with uh, Michael Bolton? Yeah. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, mm-hmm. baby. She recycles. Be careful. <laughs> I know. That's what I said. I said, honey, you're next. You better watch yeah. out. <laughs> She's been through all of them. So. By the way, I saw on a VH1 show or, or something like that, because it was it was like, this is your life, Nicolette Sheridan, that she actually told your husband he was boring, and that's why she broke up with him. Um, oh. Who knows? God, you know. Did you ever hear that? I, I have heard that. Oh, you did? Yeah, I have, yeah. yeah. And what did he say? Um... Uh, I I don't think he cared actually. Yeah. You know, I think I think it all worked out for the okay. best. Cause look, he got me. He yeah. got you, and she had to go back to the bald guy. Oh. The guy with the mullet, the world's most famous <laughs> mullet. Aha! Uh-huh. All right. Anyway, there we go. So uh, <laughs> moving along, Jamie. Moving, moving along, along, baby. I feel really bad for the guy on ESPN that got kicked off. I know. Wasn't he cute? He's so sweet. Well, it's I not know. that he's cute. It's the fact that Master P. Made it further than he did. Well, you know. <laughs> Master P just stood there. I'm going to do it gangsta. Let Ashley dance. <laughs> yeah, he just stood there. He didn't yeah. even try. No, yeah. I know. That made you guys mad, didn't it? Yeah. yeah it was very upsetting and yeah. trying for all yeah. of us. Yes. I know. Well, hopefully this week it'll be better for you. I'm worried about the Lachey guy. He looks like great competition. You know what? Those boy banders. Yep. Yeah. They mm-hmm. have it in their back pocket. They're, 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 they just know what they're doing, don't they? I mean, yep. he is yeah. good. Yep. Uh, he and, scares me. And that uh, O'Neal, Tatum O'Neal. Is it Tatum O'Neal? Yeah, how about yeah. that? Yeah, she looks a little rough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to come down. Who's it coming down I already to? know the top yeah. five. Well, you, hey, Lisa, you yeah. know how you have the most fabulous makeup guy ever in the world? Don't yeah. I? Because we know what he starts with. Yeah, I mean, he just, he's, <laughs> no. I come mean, on, he's, Jamie, you've seen we shared a dressing room for the vagina monologues. You saw it in action. No, I'm, I've seen what he's done for me. It, like, he made me look amazing. Right? I mean, he just really is. Am- Will you loan him out to Tatum? No. No. Uh-uh. He's my secret weapon. <laughs> Dude, she needs some help. No. Yes, she does. No, I, he's mine. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm just telling you, uh, if you wanted to be a friend to Tatum O'Neal. And, I, I like her. I gave her some Belle Gray sweatpants and a tank top. Oh, well, that was nice. <laughs> Unlike she can fit her ass in them. That was real Aww. sweet. Look, these yeah. are the small. And I know that I can fit in them, but you can't. That's real nice, Lisa. <laughs> Jamie, stop. <laughs> now, real now. nice. Lisa Renna, nicest girl ever. Right. Here's yeah. the tiny sweatpants your ass can't fit into. <laughs> Feel good about yourselves. Go ahead. Oh, my God. All right, so. She asked for them. She wanted them. Right. Yeah. All right, so who do you see as the biggest competition? 
Um, no, who do you see as my I'll biggest tell competition? you who okay, the biggest competition is. Okay, Lisa's in there. Okay. Because mm-hmm. Lisa's hot and looking good. That damn wrestler girl oh, was a ballerina. She's, in there. she's yeah. really, she's really a good. Whore. And then the Lachey kid is going to be in there in the long run. Yep. Jerry Rice is a competitor and yep. he's going to hang in there. Yep. And my dark horse is Hamlin because he may be like a cinnamon. Of, I, man, you know man, what? Man. I yeah. can totally see it. Yeah. 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 I, I think you're right. Yeah. I think you're right about George this. George is definitely a dark horse. Yes, he is. I mean, he's crying about his ribs yeah. and about his bum knee. It's it, all an act. And it'll keep Come him on. into the he's maybe fine. all the way to the finals. Yeah, he's got the senior <laughs> citizen vote. He's fine. <laughs> He's, wow. he, yeah, he's absolutely, absolutely fine. Hey, somebody wants to talk to you real fast, okay? Okay. All right, here is uh, Leilani. Hi, Leilani. Hey, you guys rule. We, hey, rule. we rule. Go ahead. What were you calling about? Hi, Leilani. I just wanted to ask Lisa to please, 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 please go back to days because I can't stand hope. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. And maybe bring back the other bow, too, because I can't stand the one that's on there now. Okay, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> oh, very nice, Lisa. Very nice. Lisa Renna. All make right, a, Lisa. Make a wish foundation. To, uh, <laughs> just making dreams come true. <laughs> okay, baby, I'll do it. All right, Lisa, we're going to look for you Thursday at 8 on ABC, and we will definitely vote for please. you. Yeah. Vote for me, Jamie. I need it. Uh, absolutely. Lisa Renna is the name you want to vote for Thursday night, 8 o'clock on ABC called Dancing with, with the, the Stars. Stars. Thank you, Lisa. Bye. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, one of our favorite comedians did Cheryl Underwood. Yay! And she's going to be at the Ontario Improv. Yeah, get your tickets right now. Call over there right now. Just buy oodles and boodles and boodles tickets. But wait a minute. Okay, before we get started, yeah. I got to thank you guys. You guys really changed my life. Why? Oh! I got an agent. I got an agent. <laughs> Last time you were here. I remember I didn't have an agent. I didn't have anybody. Now I'm over at ICM with Steve Levine and Jennifer and all them guys and Brian and Mike and all them people. And I'm getting auditions and everything. So yeah, Did we even call it. ICM? Oh, right. Uh, no, I, I think know. you know what happened. What? I think because all them other people that you called, you know, <laughs> Steve Smook. We called yeah. Steve Smook. We called uh, what's that one kid uh, over uh, at uh, William Morris? Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. yeah. We call so a lot okay, of them. so I end up g- giving Adam with ICM. Adam Share. We yeah. called him. So I end up getting with ICM. Now everything's like phenomenal, like auditioning for stuff and hosting Comic View. Please, oh, you, let me tell you something. Comic View numbers off chain. So thank you, white people. I know y'all watching <laughs> BET. Y'all doing the most everything out there. Well, and, we should get like two. Percent. Yeah. I mean, y'all should get part of everything in my career <laughs> now, forever, ever, ever in the world. And then, okay, let me tell you what else happened. Let me tell you how wonderful y'all station is. I got sick, right? I thought I had, uh, uh, what is it called? Food poisoning, right? Uh, yeah. But I had a bowel obstruction. I had some oh. scar tissue from getting my fibers moved. See, I only tell the story here, and I know people are like, oh, wow. spin that coffee out and everything. What were your symptoms? Um, I was. It was coming out of both ends everywhere, right? Oh. So, and your stomach was all distended and yeah, stuff? it was yeah. horrible. Oh. So, so then I was like, okay, I thought I was drinking like what a Pedialyte and all this different stuff. Yeah. My girlfriends were coming over there. Going, girl, you look horrible. You know, black women, they take to your face. Girl, you look bad. What yeah, happened right. to you? And I was like, I don't know, it's food poisoning. So for about like, a week and a half, 10 days, I'm in the house just laying there, dying, losing weight. It's great, best diet in the world. <laughs> Forget that animal tranquilizer stuff that they taking right now. Bob obstruction, the best diet in the world. I lost 15 pounds. My a Pilate teacher, Pace, remember that girl I told you with the, with the body like the black girl? Right. Right, with right. the booty and everything yeah. that swing from the pole. Oh, my gosh. She came. It was bad. We were working on Pilates and everything. So I finally, uh, they took me to the emergency room. My blood pressure uh, was like 60 over 50. My kidneys had failed. Thank you, Dr. Coben, my doctor. He's a kidney doctor. <laughs> Dr. Coben is a bomb. He's getting ready to have a baby over there at Cedar Side. Dr. Over, Coben? Yeah, Dr. Coben, yeah. His okay. wife is getting ready to have a baby. He's a wonderful guy and everything. So I go in there, and everybody's going, oh, it's food poison, it's food poison. One person, one woman in the emergency room goes, I don't think it's food poison. I think it's gastrointestinal. Everything changed. So they send in this guy, this doctor, Dr. Defford, looks just like David Duchovny. So I'm in love. I'm trying to flirt and everything. But bam, they send in another doctor, Dr. Farusman. He's the one that do the surgery. He finds us, I don't know what. He's some Iranian Muslim sexy dude. He comes in. So I'm naked every day. And he's like, I'm throwing up, but I'm naked. I'm trying to pop breasts out like Janet Jackson. I got my legs over because I haven't had sex in a year and a half. That's a whole nother start stitch. We don't have to get together on that. Whoever you with going to be mad because I'm giving it away free to everybody. So I'm in the hospital. Every uh-huh. time he come in, you know, they don't have deodorant in the hospital, so I'm musty as... Oh, I, oh, I'm going to say something oh, bad, but you yeah, know what I'm yeah, talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I'm musty as everybody overseas. So, oh. yeah, it's horrible. But I, here I am trying to flirt with this doctor while I'm throwing up and musty oh, and boo-booing. Oh. It's horrible. 
the moral of the story is go to see the side eye. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love mm. Dr. Peruz, but I am but, in love with you, but I have to convert to being But a you said this is how much you love this show. How do we have anything because to do with the bowel obstruction? Everybody that was listening to this show must be working over at Cedars. I was getting free <laughs> stuff, free slippers. I was getting different uh, uh, little rolls and stuff every day because usually they give you Because we rose. hook you up at Cedars, do we? Oh, I was getting the good drugs. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me say something. Whoever invented what is Dilaudin, whatever this drug is that they were putting in my arm, whoo, you talking about high. I was high like I was on Crenshaw. So, was, oh. did anything happen with any of the doctors? Did they touch you? Did it nothing? You felt no, like I had you got. I'll do myself. I'll do it myself. Oh, I, I you just can't Dilaudin. masturbate in the hospital. Yes, I did with that Dilaudin and. <laughs> it's wonderful. Jack, you can't masturbate in the no. hospital. Aren't there rules? Yes. Yes, yeah. Yeah, you can. No, Nobody you can't. sees what happens under that blanket. <laughs> just ask for about four blankets. And then, you know, I was trying to have sex with anybody because I hadn't eaten for like at least a month and a half. So, I, I was trying to have sex with anybody for a sandwich oh. out there but they wouldn't give me anything so, to eat how's your bowel obstruction now it's excellent and he did a wonderful job of nice little surgery and everything and there's things i still can't do like lift and stuff like that but now my new goal because your station always changes my life yes yes hallelujah <laughs> glory to god Woo! i would like to go out with seth green you know Seth, Seth Green, Green. Yeah. Yeah. redheaded kid from, yeah. uh, he from was Party he Monster, show. and he was in uh, Seth Green. He was in yeah. Can't Hardly Wait. He's he been in a million things. He was in, in uh, Austin Powers. Oh yeah, he has Four Kings is the name of their new sitcom. The new show on Thursday okay. nights on NBC. Seth Green, we, redhead. We could do that. Okay, let now, me let me call somebody. Yeah. And anybody that knows him, bring him out Seth to the Ontario Green. Improv, and we can have drinks together. Do you think he he went to PCU? Yeah. He can have this for free. Okay, yeah. we All will right. be the super couple. The super couple. Yeah, you know you get a like we be like. Beyonce I wish I know who. Was. I just heard him on on another station last night. Seth Green. He's a cool guy. He's the redheaded. Um, but you I know him. He he's been in a, a million things. No, he. he what did, what's he been on that I know? Jack, it's bother. Uh, Amy Sugarman. He's a voice yeah. on Family Guy. Uh, talent Booker to the stars. Yes, yes. Seth Green. I know him. Can you? Well, I don't he know him. I mean, I don't know him. Can you? Know can you get us a phone call like in the next five minutes? Uh, with Seth Green? Yeah. Yes. I can try. Is he single? You know, I really don't know, but I can definitely send two Is emails right now to find out. Okay. Is he straight? We need to find out if he's straight. All right. Oh, I know. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure he is because I think I have seen him, like, with girls before. I just don't know what if he's married What kind of girls? Any gay. black, short, loud, hard drinking, <laughs> just out of bowel obstruction, love the Lord girls, anybody like that? Yeah. Is he interested that in that? exactly like the girl I saw him with. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> All right, so, uh, oh, there he's he is. So he's nice. so cute. Is so nice. Let me find out. Okay, all right, good luck. Thank and, you. And that's Amy Sugarman. She's I'm telling a, you, she can get things for done. Life. For life, I will be a star. What made you want fun. Seth Green? He's a little guy, too. He's talented. He's been, he You'll was, squish him like a bug. He was in all oh, the Austin Powers night. movies. We're going to be together. Man. No, can I just tell you this? Because I was watching that commercial. What was it? She was on the cell phone. The guy was out in his car, and he had, uh, like, snow skis out in his car. Uh -huh. And he goes, look outside. Uh -huh. And he's out in his car. And, and and so she she goes, oh, my God. He runs up to the door. She runs up, and she jumps in his arms. Uh-huh. And it dawns on me, there's not one man I've ever dated that I can run and jump in his arms without him falling over. I dated a couple guys I run. Can you jump in your man's arms? Well, I don't have a man have right a now. Man. Other people, man. But I'm Seth, you cannot arms. jump in his arms. Yeah, yes, you can. He cannot hold okay. you. He can hold me. He we can't hold like, you. Well, this he is... can practice hold me. And we have some little short red-headed babies. I mean, I, I get you, but this is a bizarre request because Stench could hold you. Do you really want the Stench? Yeah. No, but, but Stench, well, okay, but so here's Stench the I'm not dating Stench. That's Jack, what I mean. If your wife ran up and jumped in your arms, you couldn't hold her. I don't think so. I'm no, not you couldn't. Hold her. You, no. you couldn't hold her. He'd I mean, not that my wife's big, but I'm not that strong. Right. And, and but you're Stench, not you could hold, hold your you're wife, right? You're supposed to topple over uh. in orgasmic bliss. That's why I got to say Stitch for the <laughs> WWF of love after me and Seth <laughs> fall in love. See, see, Stitch, let me tell you what Stitch, Stitch is what we call in the hood a booty call. So you, you know, he likes black women. I know he do, and he big like I like him, so we gonna yeah. be eating like Fruit Loops out of punch bowl naked in the bed <laughs> watching Cartoon Network. Because you like lived with a black woman for a while, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, and I do so the stuff that white them. dudes like. But, you know, yeah. but the black but woman. She, are you stuff. crazy though? That I woke up and my black woman was beating me about the head with a telephone. That was the wrong one. That was the wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't beat the white men. You now he has an Oreo. <laughs> he, oh, he got a. 
Like yeah, that, that dude that work here? Yeah, he's got a that dude in the blue shirt, that black guy oh, with right, the Clark Kent here. glasses? He still, still work here. Oh, yeah. Robert Lyles. Yeah. yeah, half the white people at Clear Channel not figured out he's still here. <laughs> he don't really have no job. He just shows he up here. He OD'd yesterday. That's yeah. not funny. Y'all scared me. to fire black people up here because y'all think we going to go ballistic. <laughs> no, we just... Think that nothing. What? Anyway, oh. <laughs> okay, hold right. on. Hey, uh, I know that we have to go to break and do the Robert EAP. Lyles and... Hi, is Robert Lyles there? One second. Okay. We never get to the bottom. Um, of Robert anything. Lyles had an OD yesterday. Yeah. He had a who? He he Overdose. had an OD. Yeah. He, of what? Uh, I forgot. What did we Robert... think it was? Clinique. Clinique. Yeah, yeah, foot cream and Clinique. Facial products. Yeah. Robert he... Lyles, marketing director of the year. <laughs> <laughs> marketing director of the year. He you is marketing. Some bass in your voice like Beverly Hills Cop when you pick up the phone. <laughs> hey, Cheryl Underwood wants a piece of you. Yeah. She wants a what? She wants a piece <laughs> of the boober. How your feet feeling? <laughs> um, pretty good. Why? For real? Because yeah. we told her about your overdose. Oh yeah, I um. Had allergic reaction yesterday. You were drinking the stuff. <laughs> yeah. No, he took some kind of drug and it gave him hives. And then instead of driving himself because he was afraid his throat would close up, he called the car service. Is this a real black person? <laughs> yes. You got a limo car. to emergency. Boy, these Negroes now he showing me special. He got a car service to drive. <laughs> this black man rolls deep, honey. It's <laughs> really, really sick. I need a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Let me tell you something. We calling Jesse Jackson on you right now. We're Al Sharpton alert. <laughs> you he called, did what? He called the car service. Yeah. You don't have any friends that would took you to the hospital? It was like at 5.30 in the morning. Excuse me. I was having a bowel <laughs> obstruction and my girlfriend that works over at Lawrence Turner and Associates drove me. She said, just like black people do, be this ain't food poisoning. Get in the car. <laughs> she didn't even help me to the car. She started the car, and I had to walk myself in the car and open my own well, door. Well, you are not Robert Lyles now, are you? That's right. So you are not an honorary black person. You must be from Belize or somewhere else. Tell her what you did to your eyelashes. Oh, no. Nothing. What'd you oh, do to your eyelashes? No. You got Nothing. eyelashes What do you stitches? mean? No! Are you kidding? I, Jamie? I said nothing! You got eyelash extensions? No, no. Yeah. Did you have bald eyes? Did, did you have bald eyes like Oprah Winfrey? Is what? that true? Don't get quiet on me now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Robert? What? I what didn't happened? say anything. I just said tell her what you did to your eyes. You could have got contacts. What'd you do to your eyes? Well, I used to wear contacts, but I don't anymore. I just wear glasses. You yeah. wear glasses. Yeah. But you got eyelash extensions. I, no, I did not. And crow's feet cream. <laughs> no. Oh, For your feet. I do take care of myself. That's true. Yes. You know what? Okay, I'm going to have to give you something just to, to bring you black the blackness. Because <laughs> there's white people listening right now going, I'm glad he ain't one of us. <laughs> Set y'all back centuries. <laughs> hey, I've been doing really good now. He's been to Crenshaw. What? Yeah. Did they have an auction? We gotta take him to a slot and swap me. Just drop him out. Yeah, his car broke down. All right, Robert Lyles, we're glad that you're <laughs> safe and that everything went okay. Thank you. I think it's a little ridiculous that you had uh, lip implants, though. So. Yeah, no. why? Yeah, why? he had collagen injections in his in lips. Your lips. Yeah, go look Is at him. Is this a bad stereotype waiting to happen? <laughs> a black man who need bigger lips? <laughs> What do you have? Fishy lips? Do you have fishy lips? <laughs> you have to go look at me. Got, got Don't make it. me laugh, but I, I'm still in pain. They're a little bruised. Okay, yeah. so they okay, so they big puffy lips. Yeah. yeah. Like what's that girl, Lindsay Lohan? Who had the lip where her lips were all shot up? Uh, up? So you have big lot. booty lips. Recently, you have booty lips now. Uh, Jessica Simpson. Jessica Simpson, Jessica Simpson has them. Yeah. Everybody yeah. has them. So you got booty lips. Okay, where did you Melanie go? Melanie Griffith. This? Oh, those are Melanie Griffith. Oh, yeah, hers were yeah. whack. Hers uh. were whack. Okay, here's the question before we let you go. Yeah. Did you go to a legitimate doctor? Yes. Or did you go to Tijuana? Legitimate. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, come on, black people. We don't buy real <laughs> medical stuff. Oh my I got God. lucky to go to Cedars. Oh, and, he got, <laughs> and he took a town car to Cedars. Robert prides himself on overpaying for everything. Everything. Ah, yeah. He had a thousand dollar belt buckle on. Yeah, he got alligator gloves that were fifteen hundred dollars. He had a thousand no dollar belt buckle. Uh, 
what? He has alligator, alligator gloves, gloves that were like seven, actually seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah. Seventeen hundred dollars, and you know, for after Hurricane Katrina, you could have went down there and got you an alligator from free. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. He has alligator gloves that are lined with uh, uh, cashmere, yeah, yeah. and he lives in California. That, what kind of man is? He's a metrosexual. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness! Money. He, I got money. he calls himself Washington. fancy. He <laughs> yes, calls himself he what? Fancy. Himself fancy. fancy. Uh, uh oh, what money. name is that? <laughs> is, is that the? Is that the? I'm walking the down dinner. Melrose. Let me What's your name? Time. Let me take you oh, out to sure. dinner. Oh, sure. Oh, he wants to take you out to dinner. You'll never have to write another stand-up routine again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Robert. Single? Yeah, he's single. Are you single? Yeah. yeah. How tall are you? I'm five ten. Okay, you're taller than Seth Green. I can't go out with you. <laughs> okay, well, okay, so are you serious? Because yes. I haven't had sex in like a year and a half. She's, so. He's serious. Oh, well, I look good to you now. <laughs> <laughs> no, yes. you don't look good to me now, but you know somebody He's serious. To he wants first. to take you out to dinner. Is he serious? Yes. yes. Where serious. are we going? Are we going? Yeah, he only goes to the oh, finest fancy places. places like the Ivy and yeah. Uh, you can't wear those sweats. It's a French yeah. restaurant. Uh, it's called La Angerie. Oh yeah, I know. I that. like lingerie. lingerie. No, la, uh, yeah, that don't sound like no real place. restaurant. <laughs> right. It's a good place. What's it called? They don't. La Angerie. It's French. They don't have ribs, but it's good. Oh, oh we got to go on that note. Right there. Sorry. Oh, you can say it now. oh thanks. Uh, <laughs> we are with Cheryl Underwood Yay! of the oh, much not of the. She's going to be appearing at the Ontario Improv. Yay! Tonight even. Yep, tonight, and you can go to improv.com. That's improv.com, or you can call the Ontario Improv box office at nine oh nine. You're in the nine oh nine. Oh. The nine oh nine four eight four fifty four eleven four eight four fifty four eleven. That's nine oh nine four eight four fifty four eleven. The Ontario Improv. Make sure you go and see her. We love her. She's funny. She's oh, so funny. By the way, we got a buttload of phone calls. Everybody said that Seth Green is on K-Rock right now. Is that, <laughs> what kind of station is that? Um, I don't know how Like to... um, uh, a stoner station. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's for teenage boys, I think. Yeah. Is yeah. that a good thing? Am I, uh, why am I attracted to guys that are attracted to guys? <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that a No, thing? I'm just saying, like, what are the chances you want right. this guy? He's on the, you went, you came to the wrong station, dumbass. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I came to visit my friends, my new family members, my new brothers and sisters. And everything. Sisters. Matter of fact, I'm going to be the godmother to your baby. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, you are. Anybody with a bowel obstruction can be the godfather yeah. or godmother God, to my... I'll be the godmother of your baby. I'll take your baby over to all the nice black churches over there. Oh, West amen. Angeles, where Denzel is and everything. First day of me, where all the celebrities go. I can't believe you didn't know Angelina Jolie was pregnant. No, you see, I don't believe that She's stuff pregnant. Okay, so what are they going to do with them foreign midgets that she adopted? <laughs> to get them green cards. They're going to give them back. Babies. Those aren't babies. What? I'm telling you, that is the best hustle we are running over in Africa. <laughs> we have these little midgets that we sell to people and go their babies. Because look the way that big eye. It looked like one of them little animals that used to be on Johnny Carson. Maddox? Oh, lemur. No, no, not that little one. Asian one with the mohawk. That's a little midget man. But the other one that's clinging on to her breast all the time. Sahara. Sahara? It looks like yeah. porno. It looks like porno. That's not a oh. real baby. Oh. That's not a real baby. I'm telling you, it's an African midget, and I would like to thank all of Africa for being able to run this nice green card <laughs> hustle on Angelina Jolie. I don't think she has an African midget. I think it's a baby. It's an African midget, and it's always licking on her breast. That's a oh black man. My God. I do know this, though, after, because she's old enough that she needs to have the amniocentesis, mm -hmm. and that's where they take the fluid and stuff from the, the womb, yeah. she's going to wear it around her neck. She's going to ask <laughs> if she can keep it and, and wear it around her neck and just walk around. Yeah, this is my amnio around her neck because she's creepy. Okay, is, is Brad Pitt the father? Is Brad yes. Pitt the father? Okay, so what is Jennifer Aniston thinking right about now? I'm glad that he went nuts on her because I don't know. He's, he's He smoked too much pot and it ruined his brain cells. She's bummed. Well, you know what? I just think, or that. I just think that as a black person right now, thank God it's not Jay Z and Beyonce. It's y'all with the trainer <laughs> trash relationships. First Britney, and now, now Brad. Yes, he is.
his trailer. Why doesn't he get that? That's a great point. Why isn't he getting the the I don't know the Tom reputation Cruise. Tom of Cruise. trailer? Tom yeah. Cruise and but not nobody from Scientology because they got a strong reach. Call They'll me. They'll kill your dog. But <laughs> here's the question about it: Is there nothing in Scientology that doesn't talk about premarital unwed sex, knocking up that little young girl before they get married? <laughs> she can't even go back see no. her kin folks in the small town. If you're Jewish, you can have sex out of wedlock too. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah, you can do it. For real, who said that? What the part of Jews? the Old Testament is that? It, the Jews said it's okay to bone without having uh, being married. Now, I don't mess with the Jews. I don't mess with God's chosen people. Guys. Well, they won't kill they your dogs. Strong, They're nicer than the, the Scientologists. Strong, but them Scientologists, what is the thing about everybody getting pregnant without being married? Do they know about the apocalypse? Do they know that <laughs> Jesus is on his way back? Well, you know, it, he was going to get me one way or another. It doesn't matter if I'm married. <laughs> Because I figure I was on my path. You know, it was all yeah. going to happen anyway. Well, I tell you what. If I don't get my life together, I'm going to turn into a pillar of salt. So I'm trying to get it together. You're not. You know, everybody worries about being an old maid or something. It doesn't happen. I am an old maid. No, people. you're not. Robert Lyle is going to knock you up. <laughs> well, how? How? With, With his penis. With a turkey What? <laughs> With it, Robert Lyle's one? penis. I I'm bigger than he is. <laughs> Now, that I, wasn't very nice, was it? What? I, I know now. I I'm know dying. men that were thinking about having sex with me, going, "I want to see that." <laughs> Robert <laughs> Lyles is well endowed, and he could knock you up. How big? I, I don't know. know five. Have you seen it? No. No. See, so it's not true then. <laughs> it's, it's like stuff in the in the tabloid. Unless you've seen it, unless you've seen those it's space not aliens, real. it's not real. It's not real. So I, who in this who in this office building has the biggest one? Jack. Ooh, for real. <laughs> oh, no. Come Jack. On down to the well, in the whole office building, I don't know. Yes, yes you do, Jack. It's Jack. It's Cause Jack. Because, you, you know, most thin dudes really had the big one. And then, like, it's when you have a nose, it's your nose. See, people looking at feet. It ain't feet. It's nose. It's your nose. Uh, and you have a nice nose. nose. I have a, I have a yeah. big, schlong nose. No, you don't have a big yeah, nose. Yeah. You have a prominent you nose. You have a prominent, schlong nose. Schlong <laughs> nose. <laughs> Well, maybe maybe it's not really your thing. Maybe it's because you're rubbing your nose on people. We maybe. call him old. We all, we call him old schlong nose. Yeah, that's, they do call me a, that. That's what his nickname is. Schlong nose. Okay, what about that My dude? My email that, address too. What about that dude y'all told me last time I was here and I said I wanted a job? That dude that owned this whole thing. Uh, which one was it? Was I don't it know. Hogan? Did we call Hogan when she said? No, said? I don't think so. Yeah, boss, boss of all bosses. Oh, he's oh. gone. Wait, which one? I don't know. Yeah. Why? Boss, boss of all bosses. Why? What did we of say? Channel. Y'all yeah. spoke very highly of him. Yeah. Yeah, but We're he met me in the parking lot. Uh, he was like, uh, I was slugging. Why? What did you want? I want to know, is his bigger than everybody? <laughs> oh, we're not going to call him now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't work here, so I don't we'll want to We'll just assume it is. Right. Yeah, because I was going to ask for John Hogan's phone number, but I yeah. don't know if we want to do the, hey, is our CEO's <laughs> penis bigger than everybody yeah. else's? Well, y'all can't because ask. guess what? Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> yes. It is it's humongous. Huge. And take a look at your text this Friday. There'll be something in it. <laughs> <laughs> he has, John Hogan has the biggest penis in the business. I never saw it, but I've heard it. I've heard it's massive. <laughs> it's I heard it as a sidecar. Oh, yeah, it's magnificent. <laughs> it's like mini me. Yeah, absolutely. It is huge. Our boss has such a big song. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, wait, wait. okay so wait, y'all got to come out to the improv. Ontario Improv, this is my first gig since coming out of the hospital. I got to thank everybody over at Cedar Sinai. Uh, uh, Lawrence Turner. Are you doing lawyer. shout outs to people at Cedar <laughs> Sinai? Out. Definitely. I mean, everybody Jesus. from security. They have security. Security. To, to the cafeteria. Okay, no, let me tell you no, let me tell you what happened. I was walking. I was doing my little walk because you got to walk to get healthy, you know, to ambulate and all that stuff. I was walking with my uh, clinical uh, nurse. Right, because you have everything. to have your first BM before they let you oh, leave. Let me tell you, I had that. My girlfriend that does my hair <laughs> over movement. on Crinch, I came over and they made me laugh so hard. It just started. Oh. <laughs> it was hard. God. And it wouldn't stop. And we oh. were laughing so hard. Oh, she made you poop? Yes, that's friendship. That's funny. That's friendship. That's All right, love. so finish your, your shout outs because <laughs> okay. I know you have to go. Okay, so, so okay, everybody over at Cedar Sinai, especially Dr. Deffern, Dr. Copen, Dr. Feruzman, everybody over at the emergency room, uh, the Denzel Washington Hello. security dude that was down there, and everybody 
from the start out of that, that showed me love. All my sorority sisters that came up, everybody from BET, because I was winning the office pool every day of who got the most flowers and the most cards. Oh, and wow. Everything. You're popular. Wow. Yes, wow. I was. Mm -hmm. But um, And then everybody from the improv, because I got up after I got out the hospital at the Melrose Improv to see if I was still rusty. So I got up on Monday night. Oh, well. So now we got Hello. together. You're never rusty. Oh, yeah. I was a little rusty that <laughs> night, because I was like loopy right. and everything. So now we're going to be out at the Ontario Improv. Please come out. You're going to enjoy the show. But I will be cussing a lot, and I will be talking a lot about the sex that I'm not having and the things that I want to do. So if you want to get lucky, or if you don't want to have sex with your man, but you want me to do it for you, come on out. <laughs> to the Ontario Improv. Say habla espanol. <laughs> Go to improv.com, or you can call them at 909-484-5411. And buy my DVD at urbanworks.com. Oh, oh, somebody wanted to know if you had a, a website. Yeah, I got a DVD out, uh, urbanworks.com. And the uh, website is Sherlock Underwood in France, but you can go to BET uh, uh, website and hit me on there, too. Holy and I cow, what are you, infomercial yeah, right you now? Got you know, I got to make a lot of money because you Jesus. know how much it costs to be in Cedars? <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, she went, Cedars? <laughs> That's right, Cedars. <laughs> Cedars. Then I felt like, like Bobby when his voice changed on the Brady Bunch. Not Turn this up, I'd just like to have a memory. Hallelujah! Yes! You're doing it, Roy! You're doing it, Roy! I'm doing it! Doing it, Roy! You know, we have not heard a lot from uh, those guys. What were no, their names? Uh, Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried yeah. and Roy. Whatever happened, uh, Jack? What, oh, what, 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 what? Uh, Roy was doing better is the last thing we heard. Remember, he was like walking on his yeah, own or something? Right. Yeah. I don't know what happened. All right. In the meantime, our intern did such a fine, fine job the other day. Uh, I mean, just a great job. He yep. did a great job with sports. I mean, we finally, it took about six weeks, but we got him to nail it. Yeah, he, he yeah. totally nailed it. So I thought, my God, you know, there's so much celebrity gossip going on right now. So much. We should bring him in and see how he does with celebrity glo gossip. Yeah, yep. gossip. What is celebrity gossip, Jack? It's, it's like really gossip. glossy gossip. Yeah, it's, like, it's, it's, you know, it's super shiny. The yes. best stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, ladies and gentlemen, with your celebrity gossip, it's Alex uh, Inters. Yay! 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 Go ahead there, buddy. Well, man, allegedly Colin Farrell's sex tape is leaking out on the internet right now. You guys check that one out. Have you guys heard about it? He yeah. has a tiny weenie. <laughs> 15, <laughs> I'm talking about 15 minutes on this gossip website. Uh, it's featuring the actor and his and his ex-former Playboy model, Nicole Narain. Um, you can check that one out. But I don't understand. What is the deal with like celebrities coming out with sex tapes these days? Well, he has a tiny weenie, right? That's yeah. why he's afraid it's yeah, coming he's out. he's afraid it's coming out. And he's, and he's got lawyers and everybody on he's it. He's got like a lawyers that are vicious sharks. They're just shut. Anybody says they have that tape and it's like, bam, they shut you down. And Alex has a great question, which is, you know that people are going to sell these sex tapes. Why right. are you doing them? It doesn't make sense. It's it, like, it, you're, you're already famous. You already got your fame to do and whatever you're doing. Why come out why? with a sex tape? Because it's wrong and it's bad. And nothing gets them off anymore like a crazy sex tape. Yep. Yeah. Nobody bought Jack and I. No. <laughs> yeah, and you guys looked really good. Jack, you look great in fishnets. We had Thank you. I wax. I like how your butt hair pops through the fishnets. <laughs> I, yeah. Yeah, that, that, that kind of turns me on. Yeah, it did. It was like a it's nice boofy bouffant or well, something. Thank you. Anyway, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, no sex tape with this guy, but Kate Moss's ex boyfriend, Pete. Uh, Big what's his man? last name? Pete. Pete. Uh, yeah, Doherty. He's Doherty. in a band. He's in a British band. I don't know. Yeah, he was formally charged for possession of cocaine and heroin. Uh, a couple days ago on the 9th of this month, Doherty, uh, who was dumped by the supermodel after he failed to complete a course of rehab, he's oh. due to appear in London court today. So, man, I just don't understand with that. You know, you got a hot supermodel wife. Oh, he's a London bad boy. He has a history of doing bad yeah. things and yeah. getting in trouble. Yeah, that's how Hollywood works. And there. she's in recovery and can't be hanging out with that right. kind of right. bad guy. Yeah. Anyway. And, but Playboy will never, ever hire her again. Just because for that fact, you know, I mean... You're with, you you're, know this because is this Alex commentary or did you read this? Yeah, do you know? <laughs> this? I, I, do, you, I, I, do you know or are you guessing what yeah. what I'm, what? I'm assuming because okay. you know you're you're gonna be with this guy that has absolutely, you know, possession of cocaine and heroin, and then you wouldn't want to be associated. So with you're that. telling me <laughs> that you think Playboy magazine now will not put her in there because she was associated with somebody that's been on drugs. And they have high moral standards. At five Playboy. years ago, five years ago, she was in Playboy. Five years ago, she uh -huh. was in Playboy. Right. But I don't think uh, okay. She had All right. Board. You know what? Yeah. All right. Know. Moving on. You never know. Moving on. Next. Moving on. <laughs> Allegedly, uh, the Lindsay Lohan uh, fiasco story keeps on uh, getting hotter and hotter. The whole Vanity Fair thing about her drug and bulimic topic uh, is going on. Vanity Fair has one hour, one hour 
of uh, of one hour, Jack. One hour. One hour. Of one hour of tapes claiming that um that she denied the articles, but you know what? Her mom, her mom, and her publicist are denying the article and claiming that she all made she made the whole thing up. Why is her mom? And our publicist. Why are you asking us so many questions? I'm just yeah. I'm one just, hour. <laughs> you know she's dating Leonardo DiCaprio now. Is yeah, it? did you know that? Yeah, I did not know that. Leonardo DiCaprio and Lindsay Lohan have been linked. Way up, oh. way up over Fez. Yeah. Yeah, Leonardo, and, and that he uh, visited her in the hospital while she's barfing. Wow, that's a nice guy, that Leo. Sure. He really cares. Anyway, what else? Uh, the newlyweds, <laughs> the, uh, Nick and Jessica. You know that they're. Uh, their house sold for nearly four point some million dollars. Oh, they got more than the asking yeah. price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listed yeah, at three point yeah. six. Yeah. Yeah. What's the math on that? It was by uh, Justin Burfield from Malcolm in the Middle. Why do you think it sold for that much? I just want to turn the tables on. <laughs> 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 yeah, why do you think that is? Why do you think it sold for more money? Ha ha ha! Answer they're, the question. Because they're celebrities. But he's a celebrity from Malcolm in the Middle. Right. Celebrities buy celebrities' houses. How do you know? What are you a celebrity <laughs> knower? Fifty <laughs> Cent bought uh, Mike he's gonna, Tyson's house. He's gonna drop knowledge on you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how do you know this? Oh. Uh, what? What was that? Fifty Cent bought uh, Mike Tyson's house. <laughs> did he overpay for it? He probably did. Why did the Malcolm in the Middle kid want that house? Because <laughs> he can, he can probably say to one of his relatives or his friends, "Oh my God, I got Nick and Jessica's house." Nobody oh my wants God. to say that. No, yeah. you want to say, "Oh my God, Jessica Simpson's been naked in my shower." Right. Especially since everybody <laughs> knows where that house is, people yeah. used to show up there because yeah. They all right. Anyway, is that all? I, uh, this is the last oh, story. Oh, okay. I, I hate right. this. I hate this because oh, I don't understand boy. why fans get all crazy on like celebrities and all that stuff. Allegedly, uh, Karma Electra's husband, rocker David Navarro, nearly escaped the serious injury. Injury. Well, when a furious man smashed up his dinner table after the star refused to take a photo of him. Whoa. Wow. What, just because you oh, get denied? Oh, here comes a question. <laughs> I'm just sorry, what's, what's today's question about this? What? <laughs> One hour. <laughs> <laughs> One hour. One hour. So some guy, all right, so Dave <laughs> Navarro. <Yeah. laughs> gossiping quiz. <laughs> I love it. That's what we're going to name this now, the gossiping quiz with Alex. <laughs> he tells us a little gossip and then he asks us a quiz. All right, so what was the quiz? Why? 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 Well, because he couldn't take okay, a picture. Yeah. So if you, it's like it's like if you didn't want to take a picture with somebody. Wait, you Alex, who are you <laughs> mad at, the fan or Dave Navarro? I'm, I'm like confused. I'm mad at the fan because <laughs> I'm, okay. I'm, I'm really mad at the fan because like, why don't you just let the stars be the stars? Let them let them live their own life. You don't got to get mad. Just what what because... are you like a pro celebrity now? Like, uh, <laughs> let the celebrities be. Let the celebrities be. You should stand on the side of the uh, of the road here and and tell everybody to leave the celebrities alone. Why didn't uh, protest? Why didn't he just take the picture? Yeah. Yeah. It would have been easy just to take it the would, picture. Okay, Why sure, not take a picture? Here. Why don't you get on that so bandwagon? If, if you look at it he married a celebrity. He knew what he was getting yeah. into. Yeah. He knew that when he went out in public, he might have to take a picture or two. Yeah. Why not take the gosh darn picture, Alex? Why don't you ask yourself that? Yeah. Or have security to keep the people away. Right. Yeah. Or not go out and eat in public. Go into a booth. Yeah. Yeah, booth in the booth. Or go to Spaghetti Factory and get the trolley or whatever that thing is. Yeah, right in the middle. And right in the middle secluded. of that bed thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. people will leave you alone in the bed. Why didn't you spaghetti. ask yourself those questions, Alex? Yeah, he could have yeah. went for a nice family-style meal, Alex. He didn't yeah. think of that, did you? Yeah. No. Nope. Could have done it. Could have done it, but he didn't. So. Dessert included. <laughs> so maybe you, you ever been to the false old spaghetti factory? <laughs> have you ever been to the old spaghetti factory? I haven't. You have to ask for mazitor cheese on the side. Oh it's yeah, that's special. Stuff is yeah, good. it's tasty, yeah, tasty thing. Right. But they do charge you. Hey, uh, <laughs> Alex. James. Uh, um, I have a question for you. So, uh, how did he narrowly escape death? Like yeah. was it was he it, it, beat injury. up to a bloody yeah. hulp? hulp? What happened? Pulp? I'm, I I really don't know the exact whole story. <laughs> oh. Pretty much like oh. nearly escaped the se- with with, with uh, serious injuries. So oh. means he ran like a bitch. Probably. <laughs> you just said Dave Navarro's a bitch. You did. You called Dave wow. Navarro a bitch. <laughs> Sugarman, get Navarro on yeah. the yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you think <laughs> he's a bitch, don't you? I do not. Yeah, yeah you do. Not. I yeah. think he's got a hot wife, and you know, I I, I would love to be in that. What guy you called her a whore? You think yeah. his wife is a whore? <laughs> he should have stayed and defended the. You're not saying he's ran. a talented musician who's been in rock bands for the last right. what, twenty exactly. years and is a very successful man who was. Co-host of Rockstar and Excess, and all yeah. you care is that he has a hot wife. Why didn't you comment yeah. on what Ashley, Ooh. not Ashley, uh, Jessica Simpson wore to the People's Choice Awards last night in her little song and dance? Yeah, right? and she kissed a girl. I when didn't she like won that the award. story. I didn't like the story at all. Doesn't like now he's now he judging the stories too. Yeah. No quiz on that one. Hey, you told me to go out and get stories. You didn't tell me exactly. Hey, go. Hey, 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 h
I didn't think it was that interesting. She wore the. She was dressed like a whore. Yeah, and looked hot. <laughs> really and and what was the girl on girl action, Jack? I, didn't I don't know. know I didn't that. see it. She, uh, I mean, when she won an award, she won for best song in a movie, uh-huh. where the these boots are made for walking. Mm-hmm. And she turned around and movie. kissed a girl. She was wow. sitting with her dad and a lady. I don't know if that was her mom. Maybe. Was no one else nominated? Jack. Oh, dude, she beat out. She beat out Nelly, Fifty Cent. She beat out all kinds of people. People's that choice. That was a horrible. The people <laughs> liked cover Jessica of that Simpson, song. Jack. Uh, also, heartbreaking picture of Whitney Houston on the National Enquirer is running. She looks like a crack whore. Alex doesn't like that story. Yeah, Alex doesn't like that story. <laughs> Did you not like that story either? I don't either? like that story either. <laughs> Did you know that Lindsay Loam is saying that Vanity Fair it I has... Think I just covered that story. Yeah. Oh. I wasn't listening said to you. Lied. That's a bad sign that I wasn't listening to you. Well, you were listening. You there was no quiz to, to that along. story, that's why. <laughs> you, were listening. Um, you, were, you weren't just, you weren't paying I wasn't attention. listening at all. Yeah. I didn't even care what he said. Um, <laughs> also, Brad Pitt and uh, Jennifer Aniston and Angelina Jolie, you know, Angelina's pregnant, you know. Hello? Alex? That might be the big story. Of the yeah, day. I do. Yeah. You guys have been talking about it all morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and, and uh, Jen knows now. Yeah. Yeah. She Did you know Tori Spelling still married yet planning her next marriage, her next wow. wedding? That's cool. Maybe we'll get invited to this next one. You think? Yeah, because yeah. this one's going to be more white trashy. Yeah. We got sniffed on the last one. Yeah, Tori Spelling, whatever, acts like her friend and then, you know, snubs us for the big daddy wedding. But this one will be, like, not probably as big and we might be invited. This will be in right. Vegas and the reception will be at Red Lobster and it'll be good. What about Chad Lowe and Hillary Swank? What about it? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other sex tape? What? Oh, my God. Yes, what about the other sex tape? I don't know. What, what's the deal, <laughs> Ashley Simpson sex tape. Haven't you heard about that one? I've not heard about Ashley that Ashley Simpson has out a sex tape, and uh, they've been trying to hide it. Yeah. And Stench's friend, who, who runs this one website, got the audio from it. And it's weird. It is really weird and really disturbing. Ashley Simpson, of course, being the youngest sister of Jessica Simpson, the one with the dark hair. Right. That lip synced on... on uh, Saturday Night Live. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So do we have that audio now? We have that audio now. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. What the hell was that? Freaking me out, Ashley! What the hell's wrong with you? Oh my god! Your your lips thinking your orgasm! No way! I'm not buying that acid reflux sh! This is but get off of me! This is crazy! You're f***ing weird! It was really important. I can't remember. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Um, uh, we're just going to continue for a second on that celebrity gossip before our friend Jorge comes to the show. Jorge Garcia from Lost. From Lost. Uh, Steve Martin is dating Kristen Davis, the, right? Dunst, the cute right? girl. Dunst. No, no, no. Davis. Oh, Davis. Davis. The cute Davis. one from Sex and the City. Yeah, oh, okay. uh, that, that really cute one from Sex and the City, Jack. Do we believe that? Yeah, we have photos. Yeah, she played Charlotte. You have photos of them together. Yeah, yeah. they're frolicking. Frolicking. And, and this frolicking. is when they said they were together back in March, and she made a big statement how she had never even had a private conversation with Steve Martin before in her life. Frolicking, Jack. Frolicking. frolicking. They are frolicking. Also, uh, we told you about Colin Farrell. We told you about Leonardo Capo. I just want to make sure I get through everything. Mr. Blackwell's list where Jack and Stench felt very sorry for Britney Spears being number one yeah. as the worst dressed person. I do. It was a bad list this year. What? Who are you now? I I He's dislike Mr. Fagwell. I dislike Mr. Blackwell more than I dislike the people that he picked. It I was guess. a bad list this year. <laughs> well, I'm Jack Hyde. It was a very bad list. Usually they throw in those Rivers girls, and then you go, okay, that makes sense. But they're not even important enough to be talked yeah, about. Yeah, they're not even on the list. All right, and uh, this face transplant story that I wanted to tell you at 5:30 this morning, and now it's 9:30, and thank God I got to it. Anyway, the <laughs> lady who was uh, you you guys heard about this? She had a face transplant. Right, yeah. in France, right? Yeah. Yes, Jack. That's why I said that about a second right. ago. Oh, did you? I missed that. <laughs> it's okay. I didn't hear Alex yeah. talk about you whatever he was whole story. So. Jack doesn't appreciate that she was on Mr. Blackwell's list either. <laughs> yeah. She's got a new face. Hey. Doo, 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 doo. I got Okay. I got a new face for you. <laughs> Nothing. Anyway, she's uh, regaining sensation in her new face, her new nose, her new chin, her new lips. She's very happy to have some sensation in her new lips, her new nose, and her new chin. Uh, And so they say it's going really, really well. 
Now, and, and Jack also brought this up, and I'm not sure about this. Do you get to pick your face? Yeah, do they give you like a lineup or something? Yeah. Because she was mauled by her pet Labrador. Oh. Which, by the way, came in like first as the most popular dog or in something. In Los Angeles. Yeah, it's the most yeah. popular breed here in L.A. Her dog, uh, the pet Labrador, mauled her face off. I mean, like pulled her face off. Like face off. Right. And so then they, uh, she got a, uh, a, a brain dead donor's face. So Yeah, you'd think you'd want to pick it. When you have a brain dead donor and you take off their face, you go ahead and shut them down. Yeah, I wonder that. Or do you they, have to. Or do you keep them around no, for parts? That's human. You have to shut them down. Are you sure? Yes. You have Why? to shut them down. And then you can't just start taking parts off of a live person. Why? They just took their face off. Right. After they died. It says brain dead donor. Yeah, it doesn't say that doesn't they, say were they were dead. It doesn't say they were dead. What if this person woke up? You can't take their face. I'm and telling leave them you, on. they had to keep it alive long enough for right. the blood uh, to keep circulating. I think it has to either the person has to be alive or just barely. Yeah, yeah they, that's how they get organs. If someone you know is going, they'll be like, "Hey, we just." Hey, got I've a, seen those coolers. Yeah. I know. We yeah. just got a car wreck. It glued. Like that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that they kept this guy alive to pull off his face or her face. It was a her. I'm hoping that they didn't give yeah. this poor girl a guy face, a big stench face. <laughs> So I don't know if you get to go shopping for your new face when you get a transplant. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know if you get to go, hey, I don't like her face. Like, can you guys tweak it a bit? Right. And then you have to keep the dead face alive for a little bit before you get it. I, I yeah. would think that's true. And then I guess you shut it down. And then you shut it down and then cut it off and then uh, I, move it over. I don't know. I, don't know. I, don't I think you, you keep, cut it I off. I think you keep oxygen pumped to yeah. the face. So you're saying they say, yeah, we know they're going to die, but keep them alive. Take their face off they're while they're alive. They were brain dead already. So they, they were brain dead. And then we give it to them, and then we shut them down after we cut their face off. I don't even know if they shut them down. I didn't say that. I think they technically keep oxygen and blood flowing to that face before they transplant it. Yeah. So you're saying that they roll you into the operating room, probably still alive but brain dead, cut your face off, (laughs) put it on the person that's getting it, and then then pull the plug on it. Yeah, it's like when you cut your thumb off, you keep it wrapped in ice until you get over to the surgery center. Right. I certainly hope that's not how they What, so they cut it off, keep it on an ice pack, and then give it to you? Something. Put it in an igloo. Let yeah. it sit in the, in what, the conference Yeah. Just so for they're a while. technically dead for a minute. Yeah, I'm not not mm-hmm. right about keeping a person alive to farm their face. They farm their face. Hmm. They did it. It's in the news. The face transplant patient, a divorced mother of two, received her new nose, chin, and lips from a brain dead donor. She was disfigured last year when she was mauled by her pet Labrador. And you're not the same person anymore with a new face. I know. I have so many mean things I could say right now, but I won't. Remember the lady who got a transplant and ended up with an accent? It was yeah, a, yeah that, was that was a whole a weird, weird story. What? I'm not making this up. She ended up with a Philadelphia accent after her. Uh, what did she have put in? I don't remember, but it was something. It was something weird, and she ended up. But she was from like all of a sudden she started talking like this or right. something, and she's like from Arkansas. Right, that's weird. It was really jacked up, dude. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that was a really bad accent. Uh, do you think face transplants are ethical? Yes. I don't see it any difference than any other transplant. No, no, that's creepy to me. Would you get one if your face was torn off? Yes. I'd try and get a prettier face. <laughs> I might get one anyway. <laughs> All right, here's the deal. We have to take a little break. I see now that our friend uh, Jorge is on with us. Is Jorge there? Yeah, do I take him down? Let's just talk to him. We'll go okay, a okay, later. okay, okay, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, from the best show ever, ever, yes. ever, ever, uh, from Lost, he's Jorge Garcia, and he plays Hurley. It's Jorge Garcia! Yay! Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you? Would you get a face transplant? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about those dead faces. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it doesn't happen to people with really hot faces. You're yeah. kind of stuck with what's available. That's what I was wondering. Like, if, does your face go for a higher price? Like, if you're a celebrity or if you're pretty or whatever? Like, do no, you get it's a- kind of like, okay, do you want with the hairy mole or without the hairy mole? <laughs> <laughs> so how are you, by the way? I'm doing excellent. All right, so tonight at 9 o'clock on ABC, it's uh, the best show ever. It's Huge back. ratings. It's back. It's called Lost. You guys know it. Um, he plays, Jorge plays Hurley. Yeah. Now, a couple of things. First of all, what's with all your cast members getting DUIs? <laughs> <laughs> You're the only one staying out of trouble. Yeah, having like two of your cast members got DUIs. Yeah, fun stuff like that. They were yeah, from the other side of the island. Tickets, but I was not on any of those lists. Yeah, right. I know. I, what do you guys like? Have cocktails on set? <laughs> have you fathered any children while on a break? That was, that was also making the news that one of your cast members also fathered a child. 
That's good. Oh. What's going on on the set there in Hawaii? Well, I, I, I don't know. Um, I, I, I you guys really need to work more. Ask about those things. <laughs> and why aren't you doing anything bad? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> God. Yeah, a couple of uh, DUI arrests. And, then and the w- really good-looking guy got robbed in his house, him and his wife. Remember we had oh, that story? Yeah. Today. Right. Josh. Yeah, what's what's going on? It's like it, weird. It, it, it might be scarier uh, on the real island. Than, uh, <laughs> I, think, I think it might be. And I have really bad news for you. What? W- not you, him. You know that Tom Bergeron that does America's Funniest Home Videos? Yeah. Okay, well, I never in my life would ever take anything from him because he's not funny. Yeah, we don't no. like him. And we don't like him. We thought Bob Saget did a far better job on America's Funniest yeah, Home Videos. Like Bob Saget. What do you think? Um, you liked Fugle sang, didn't you? I, I mean, hey, we're all ABC, right? <laughs> <laughs> he likes them all. So, uh, so here's what he asked the other night on America's Funniest Home Videos. He wanted to know why you're still a little bit chunky if you've been on that island for so long. Oh. <laughs> he said that. On he America's said Funniest that on videos? America's Funniest Home Videos. He said that. He wow. said that. You should kick his ass. Get wow, yourself in the paper. That's the last time I watch someone get hit in the balls. Uh, exactly. That's all that show is good for. I'm glad you recognize that. That is exactly what that show is good for. And so it is a good question, though. Why haven't you lost any weight on the island if you haven't I, any? I've lost 40 pounds. On the island? Yes. Where have we been? You have not? Yes, I have. Have you mentioned it? It's TV. I'm sorry if you guys don't see it. There's no scale on the island. But it's, it's, uh, there's less Hurley than there was at the start of the show. Oh, because.